What's going on YouTube and listen right from the hip. Today is an extreme heat day. Plenty of fluids. Stay away from the soda. Replace the electrolytes in your body. Listen, y'all, I want to talk about this young lady from Alabama. And y'all, I know how I fish a lot. And when you catch one, even though you done put it down, you still get that smell of fish on you. Even after a good shower, you have to sometimes take two. That's how this story is smelling. But before we get into it, NBC got a nice piece on it I'm going to share with you. Along with something that the boyfriend said that caught my eyes. So we'll talk about that. But before I do, y'all, please hit this subscription button, comment, and like. I'll be back with you. Police say she arrived alone and on foot. Angela Harris helped lead the community search for her. You spoke to this family moments after Carly came home. Right. What did they say? Um, it was just kind of like a, a very emotional phone call. I just broke down and I said, is she okay? And she said, I, I don't know, she seems to be okay. She just seems to be in shock. Officials say Russell was taken to the hospital for evaluation and has since been released. Her safe return, putting an end to a days-long search that began Thursday night with a puzzling 911 call. Police say Russell told an emergency operator she saw a toddler walking alone on an interstate. 49 South, my marker 10, going to be a child walking on the, 34-year-old child walking on the side of the interstate. It's believed she then stopped to check on the child and was on the phone with a family member when she disappeared. She heard a scream and then it was some type of running type shuffle. Russell's parents horrified. I just felt immediately that she was in danger. Video from the interstate where Russell vanished shows a car driving slowly with its flashers on. She just be advised her vehicle is unlocked, running on our personal one and you can check for her phone. Police say when they arrived, they found Russell's car, her cell phone and purse on the road nearby. But there were no signs of Russell or a child. An urgent search ensued, both on the ground and on social media. I need everyone to stop and pay attention. Where her disappearance quickly went viral. Celebrities including Wanda Sykes, Viola Davis, and Octavia Spencer spreading the word. Still, questions remain about where Russell was for those 48 hours and who she was with. A man identifying himself as Russell's boyfriend writing on social media. She was literally fighting for her life for 48 hours and that she is not able to give any updates or whereabouts on her kidnapper. All right, y'all, let's get into this. And I want to point a few things out that some of y'all might not have considered, including the statements at the end from the boyfriend or the, what he says to boyfriend. First thing is, she said she was driving on the interstate at 940 something odd hours at night. She saw a child walking on the shoulder where it's normally black dark. Being a parent, grandparent, I'm gonna point this out to y'all. A child, especially a two-year-old, doesn't walk toward darkness in his house, outside, and lower nose on an unsafe place like on side of the interstate. I might have could have understood if she called the 911 and said she saw a toddler walking toward the cars, toward the lights coming. I might have could have understood that and took that beyond a grain of salt. But a child does not walk away from light. For a child or anybody to be walking with the floor of traffic on the interstate at night, they would be in the black pitch dark, all but the shining light going that way. A child would turn around and walk toward the light, not away from it. Second thing is, is now she, I, I assume, gets dropped off close to her family home and she walks up barefoot. They get in the car. They don't call the police. They don't call the ambulance. They take her to the hospital. After the whole nation is looking for this young woman, worried about this young woman, they don't 
the number load up, take it out of the hospital. From news reports to MSNBC, she's been released and she's back home safe with her family as of right now. But she don't remember how she got there. She don't remember who adopted, adopted her. And for them to release her, for them to release somebody that just experienced a violent, traumatic experience, they release her the very same day, no test, no nothing. Oh, you know, they didn't say she was severely beaten. I, I just, I don't know, y'all. It just smell an old bitch on me. And I don't get me wrong, I'm happy and I'm grateful that the young lady made it home. I hope this wasn't a case of failure. Uh, this guy that wanted attention or something like that, because they're going to prosecute her. If she if she lies, she going to jail. So the family can get ready for that. Um, somebody needs to go to jail, whether it's the ones that kidnapped her or if this was a hoax. Y'all, please don't forget to hit the like button, comment, and subscribe. I don't judge. Listen, I didn't create this. I'm just reporting on it. I'm out.